Hi guys, welcome to yet another maternity services review video and today we are visiting Juja Road Hospital. Juja Road Hospital has two branches, one in Pangani and the other one in Ruiro. My name is Monique Macrin. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Father, you should know I've been going solo. And we are going to start with customer services. The customer services here are A1. And I'm not kidding, by the way. The people here, they are very warm, resourceful, very helpful. Yeah, I, I like the customer services. Next, we are going to talk about waste disposal and cleanliness. Also, this is called an A1. Yep. As you can see in the video, by the way, the place does not smell of medicine. You, you don't even feel like you're in a hospital. Now look at the services provided. So apart from general consultation for the general population, they offer ANC clinic, they have a gynecologist and obstetrician. In terms of deliveries, you can either have a vaginal delivery there or a cesarean section. Um, in case of a cesarean section, there is a gynecologist, not just a medical officer. It is the gynecologist who does the surgeries. Yes, and they have a resident anesthetician. They have a resident pediatrician. So yeah also in terms of specialization they have a good nbu guys and you know i say that when you're looking for a hospital it's important for you to ask yourself this question should there be um an emergency with my child what is going to happen so a hospital that has an nbu is a plus When it comes to payment, uh, the branch at Pangani accepts in HIF. It does not matter if you're a civil servant or a private contributor. As long as your, your payment is up to date, then you're going to enjoy the services and you need to, to, top, to top up just a little bit for your lab works. And it's not something that goes beyond 5,000 if I'm not wrong. Yeah? So if you have an HIF, go to the Pangani branch. Uh, the Ruiro branch accepts cash. So when you come to Ruiro, then you won't be able to use the NHIF apart from the bed rebates, yes. But even for cash payers, the prices are very fair compared to the kind of services and, in the, and the environment and treatment that you get. Very fair prices. I also visited their washrooms and they were clean, they had water and they smelled nice. Now, let's talk matters accommodation. They have both general wards and private rooms. The general wards don't really look like general wards because they have like six beds in total, right? And then they have a lot of private rooms, as you can see. Like this is a couch in the private room where your guests can chill. That is the bed. Uh, and then there's a cabinet there for putting your belongings. There's a sink and a hand wash. As you can see down there, then they have slippers and they have a dustbin for you, right? right and then they have a tv so you can just watch you can just chill and now this this is actually the general ward see what i was telling you it doesn't it doesn't look like it's a general ward because it has like six beds so there's also some sort of private privacy involved and then you look it, it looks very airy and well lit yeah and clean are you ready now because it won't be
um, maybe for ANC clinics or uh, to see your gyna, this is going to be the consultation room. It looks something like that. There's a bed for you there. And then there's a screen there for privacy. Yep, that's about it. What you're seeing now on the screen is the newborn unit, the NBU, it's advanced and uh, there's a desk there for a nurse. So anytime there are children in there, then there's a nurse there full time observing your child. that's it for this particular video as usual i really enjoyed if you're pregnant let me do the window shopping for you all you have to do is to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell so that anytime that i post another video you are the first person to be notified also if you've delivered from here leave a comment let other moms read the reviews until next time